Most robot mowers would be completely lost right now. No GPS signal, dense canopy, 32 massive oak trees everywhere. But what if I told you there's a mower that actually gets smarter when the GPS fails? Meet the tank that thinks. I'm Vincent Nguyen and this property behind me is basically a robot mower's worst nightmare. Look at this just dense canopy of just leaves. These aren't decorative saplings we're talking about mature oaks with trunks over two feet wide, sprawling root systems and canopy so thick they block probably 80% of my yard. Most robot mowers probably would spend more time lost and confused roaming around in circles than actually cutting grass in conditions like this one. But today we're putting the Limo 1 to the ultimate test. Any robotic lawnmower can handle mowing in an open field without trees. But it takes a Limo 1 intelligence, nimbleness plus raw power and speed to pull off a great looking cut in this tree maze. My property covers 6,777 square feet of pure navigation chaos. We've got low hanging branches, surface roofs, uneven terrain, and GPS dead zones that would make other mowers throw in the towel and try to get back to the dock. Now, watch how close this thing gets to these oak trunks. We're talking about clearances measure in inches, fraction of an inch, not feet. That's because the 16 inch cutting deck threads between trees with precision that rivals what I could do manually myself. And here's where the technology gets interesting. The Limo One uses RTK VSLAM integrated localization that combines RTK satellite positioning with VSLAM visual navigation to create a wire-free system. When the LIMO 1 moves from open areas with full GPS signal into thick canopy where satellites can't penetrate, something remarkable happens. The system seamlessly switched between satellite positioning to visual navigation without missing a beat. So right now in this area, it's a complete GPS dead zone, but the LIMO 1 just keeps working like nothing changed. That's because it's using binocular vision sensors and five ultrasonic sensors working together in smart obstacle detection mode. The system is constantly scanning, mapping, adjusting its cutting path around everything from low branches to surface roots. Those tank treads aren't just for show either. The Savage Traverse system employs actual tank style tracks that let this beast climb 45 degree slopes. Now these treads provide superior traction and stability compared to traditional wheels. Most importantly, they distribute weight evenly, reducing turf damage on soft ground like maintaining the grip needed for challenging terrain. Now watch this, the Limo 1 can actually climb over small stumps and thick surface roots that would trap wheeled mower permanently. Thanks to its two inch ground clearance and aggressive tread design. Now let's talk about what really sets this machine apart the cutting system. Unlike most robot mowers with their tiny spinning discs, the Limo 1 features real mower blades. This is a proper 16 inch cutting deck with dual rotary blades that flip up to 90 degrees for easy cleaning. Now this is a kind of maintenance access you'd expect on a commercial mower, not a commercial robot mower. The single brushless motor delivers 1200 watts of peak output. These are real mower blades that can spin up to 5,000 RPM, 
though I run mine at around three to 4,000 uh, RPM for my thick St. Augustine grass. This isn't the gentle tickling you get from typical robot mower blades that uses this. This is legitimate cutting power that can handle thick overgrown grass without slowing down. But power means nothing without intelligence. I used the chessboard cutting pattern with a nine degree relative angle and zigzag first path order. What this does is it creates a professional strip look while ensuring complete coverage just around each of these trees. Now watch how it treats each tree as an individual challenge rather than as an obstacle to avoid. The system, the navigation system, the navigation system learns the layout, remembers where the tricky spots are and develop efficient path that actually makes sense for the terrain. The obstacle avoidance system show real intelligence too. Now, watch this reaction time when I put my foot in front of the mower. It literally stops in its track within split seconds. The reaction time rivals what you'd expect from emergency braking system. That gives me complete confidence letting it run around my kids and my pets. When it encounters temporary obstacle, it doesn't just avoid them, it marks that area and returns to cut them once the obstacle are moved. That's the difference between following a program and actually thinking. The battery technology provides consistent power output while offering longer lifespan compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. This reduces long-term waste and replacement frequency. One operational advantage I discovered is that nighttime mowing is definitely an option. The RTK and the VSLAM navigation system works just as reliably in the dark as they do daylight hours. Now I need to be honest about the trade-off. It is somewhat louder than other robot mowers, which is expected given its sheer power and real mower blades spinning at 3,000 to 5,000 RPM. But that's the sound of actual cutting power, not the whisper quiet razor disc that barely tickles the grass. Based on my extensive testing, this machine has found the perfect, perfect balance. It's heavy enough to stay stable and maintain traction, but lightweight enough to get itself out of stuck situation when it, things go wrong. I witnessed this firsthand when the right track fell off a six inch curb during a mowing session. Instead of getting permanently stuck, it corrects itself and pulled right up using controlled bursts of power. At the current sale price of $21.99, regularly it's $29.99. The Lima one sits in premium territory, obviously. But when you consider the unique combination of tank treads for terrain handling, real power blades for superior cut quality, wire-free RTK, VSLAM navigation, and the ability to handle complex properties with dense obstacle, the value proposition becomes clear. The link to the Limo One is in the description. Uh, some, sometimes you need a tank that thinks. And that is the Limo One. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if this video is uh, of some use to you. Again, my name is Vincent Wynn. Thanks for watching.